What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabriel with this other fan TV. Back at you another video. And um, I want to talk about how it's time for the Ravens to go all in. All right, before we get into that, hey, I'm almost on 70 subscribers, man. When I started this channel a couple months ago, I didn't think it'd be here this fast. So I want to say thank you to you guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, keep hitting that like button. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And uh, let's get into the video. All right, so I saw yesterday a report that um, DK, DK Metcalf has now missed the first two days of mandatory minicamp. It's officially a holdout. Now, what does this mean for the Ravens? Starting back in 2019, the Ravens were on a quest for wide receiver. That wide receiver ended up being Hollywood Brown. Now, I'm not here to shame Hollywood Brown or talk about badly about Hollywood Brown because during that draft process, he was a consensus. If you want to look it up, go ahead. He was a consensus pretty much top three wide receiver on most draft boards between most of the, you know, draft experts. So the Ravens didn't make a bad pick. They didn't. The guy I wanted, I'm not going to lie, during that draft period was A.J. Brown. That's the guy who I was really hopeful for at the Ravens to get. I thought that was the kind of guy we needed. But that's neither here nor there. Hollywood Brown ended up being the guy, and now he's in Arizona. Okay? So during the 2019 draft, even D.K. McCaff fell to the second round. Ravens didn't pull the trigger because they already drafted their guy. They got a chance to, I don't want to say right that wrong, but they got a chance again at D.K. Metcalf. He's officially in a holdout situation. So this either means one of two things. He's holding out for the Seahawks for more money um, because, you know, the contract that has stalled and he doesn't like the offers or whatever. I don't know. Right. Or he's looking for a trade. Look, let's look the thing about the Seahawks current situation. They lost Russell Wilson. All right. Franchise QB gone. Their quarterbacks are now Geno Smith and Drew Locke. Uh, <laughs> you're not really a playoff team. But those, are your, those guys are your two quarterbacks. And I like Geno Smith. So, you know. But if those guys are your two guys start fighting for the starting job, you can't say you're a playoff team. So maybe DK looks at that and says, hey, this is my chance to go somewhere else. And the Raiders got to look at themselves and say, why can't that somewhere else be here? Okay. The Ravens have the need for, for a guy like DK Metcalf. So when the Ravens, you look at the Ravens and their biggest needs right now. Wide receiver and outside linebacker. Right, and outside linebacker is really a need because two two of their three top guys are injured. Odafi always okay, but Bowser and Ojabo are hurt. Okay, so that's really the only that's need. So if I, if I say that okay, when those guys come back, need is filled. We are just looking at wide receiver and wide receiver only. This is why the title of this video is time to go all in. The Ravens want to win the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson wants to win the Super Bowl. That's all he's ever said. A trading for DK Metcalf shows that you're going all in. This is a trade where you show intent to the fan base, to the rest of the NFL, to your quarterback. We're trying with Super Bowl right here, right now. Do I think the Ravens are still a really good team without DK Metcalf? Yes. I think they're I think their floor is eleven wins. I think their ceiling is thirteen wins. All right, and that's that's just regular season because the Ravens can win regular season games, but we're not talking about winning regular season games anymore. We've done that. We've been here. We've done that. It's time to win playoff games, all right? And when a guy like DK Metcalf is available, you got to go get him. I'm tired of hearing about the almost Ravens. The almost Ravens would be an amazing squad. Bobby Wagner, Jarvis Landry, um, DeAndre Hopkins, Xavier Howard. Uh, who else are some almost Ravens? You guys probably can think some guys in the comments, right? But don't let DK Metcalf become another guy where either he's traded to another team or he signs back with the Seahawks and they say, well, the Ravens were this close to really getting them. Uh, but, you know, hey, he, he ends up signing up with the Seahawks again. Or he ends up getting traded here or there. I don't want to read that report. I don't want to read that report again that the Ravens were this close. Sometimes it comes to a point in time where trying isn't good enough, right? You have to go out and successfully get your guy. And it's time for the Ravens to go out and get a DK Metcalf. Let's look at DK Metcalf, right? Okay, so we're talking about. Three years in the league, 900 yards his first year, seven touchdowns. Uh, second year, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. And then last year, another 900 yards, close to 1,000, about 967. And a career high, 12 touchdowns. So we're talking about a guy who has scored 29 touchdowns in three seasons. Now, we just let Hollywood go, who was a touchdown scorer himself. So now you get a guy like D.K. Metcalf. D.K. Metcalf is literally everything Ravens fans have been talking about. He's big. What is he, 6'3", 6'4", 220 pounds, 
what they got him listed as. I see. I, I even see here six four two thirty five. So he's big. He's physical. He's fast. He's young. This ain't. We get the old guy off the street who can run a couple, run, run a couple of uh, plays, and we gotta take him out because he's at the back end of his career and he's trying to give us his last one or two good seasons. DK Metcalf is twenty four years old. So the Ravens are showing intent that they want to be a Super Bowl team this year. And they want to be, and they really want to extend this championship window. There are two ways to do that. Obviously, pay Lamar Jackson. I'm not going to get into Lamar Jackson's contract because I don't believe it's an issue. Um, and sign DK Metcalf. These, if these two things happen, you extend your window open another four years at least. So when I see the reports that DK Metcalf is holding out in this new age NFL, a holdout this isn't this doesn't mean anymore that a guy is going to they're going to uh, bleed their team for more money. That's just one option nowadays. The other option is getting traded to a different team. And that's a serious option nowadays. So the whole NFL world sees what DK Metcalf. I'm sure other teams are spinning their tires trying to think about ways maybe that if they could get them. The Ravens got to be one of those teams. And if the Ravens put their hat in that ring, try cannot be the answer. Oh, well, we tried to get him and it just didn't work out. Oh, well, we'll get the next guy. Or we'll try to get the next guy. No. It's time to go and grab a guy like DK Metcalf and put him on his team and say, hey, look, NFL, we're coming for the ship, right? The Ravens are a good team, a good team. Now, the wide receivers that are here currently, they could surprise us, right? I like Tyler Wallace. I think he's going to be the outside receiver, him or James Prochet. I don't think James Prochet is a true slot receiver that everybody's trying to make him out to be. He played most of his time at SMU out wide. I think he's the outside receiver. He may be smallish, but I think he's the outside receiver. Same with Tyler Wallace. I think Devin Luna is a slot receiver. Great. Okay. Those guys could prove, not prove me wrong because I do think they're good players, but they could excel expectations and, you know, maybe we don't need to get my guy. Maybe we don't need him. I don't know. But I do know that the physical attributes that DK Metcalf possesses, not even our, guy, not even our favorite guy Rashad Bateman has. So when it's time to really put your cards on the table, really go all in, put your chips on the center of the table, this is the season to do it. The Ravens were at 8-3 and three last year before the wheels fell off and Lamar Jackson got injured, COVID, all, all things happened like that. It was 8-3 and three last year with the most injured roster, literally, I think, in NFL history. So <laughs> you, you, you insert the quarterback back in the game. You insert all the injured players, Marcus Peters, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Evers, on and on. You insert all those guys back, and you're telling me we get, we get a chance to get a guy like D.K. Metcalf, and we don't? We just say, hey, look, we're going to let these guys play it out and see what happens? Now, listen, <laughs> that could very well be the Ravens' plan because, you know, we know the Ravens, right? They signed seven on drafted free agent wide receivers. I've talked about this before. They plan on one or two of those guys making the team. If they sign a vet, it's going to be one guy. You know, that's what it is. You know, whether it's Will Fuller, Julio Jones, I don't know. But <laughs> we can't say that this guy, out, this young guy's out there, we're just going to roll with what we got. Um, so if the Ravens are serious about going all in, DK Metcalf is out there. He's available for right now. We, who knows how long that window's going to last. But for right now, in my mind, in most fans' minds, he's available. All right? So... <laughs> the Ravens, you got to take a leap of faith sometimes. And you got to go outside your comfort zone and reel a guy in. All right. That's the way you, that's the way, that's the way the Ravens are going to get a guy. You're either going to draft him or you're going to trade for him. All right. I mean, just a straight up free agent, it hasn't really happened for Baltimore times of a wide receiver that wasn't uh, a diminished value like a Sammy Watkins or a Willie Sneed or a Seth Roberts. You know what I'm saying? Those are the kind of guys that, that, that will come here because well, what else are they going to go? You know what I mean? And no offense to them guys, but that's just the truth. But DK Metcalf, he's a number one wide receiver. You put him on his team, he, he takes his team to another level. He blocks. He's physical. He's big. Another target for Lamar Jackson in the red zone. You put him, likely, Bateman, Andrews. Come on. So this is my video saying to the Ravens, please go get DK Metcalf. It's your boy Gabriel. There's another fan TV. I'm out.